Living with diabetes requires careful attention to diet, as the food you consume directly impacts your blood sugar levels. Both type 1 and type 2 diabetes demand a vigilant approach to managing sugar intake, as high sugar foods can harm the body. Surprisingly, some seemingly healthy foods may be secretly loaded with hidden sugars, posing a threat to those managing diabetes. In this video, we'll unveil the 9 absolute worst foods for diabetics, shedding light on common culprits that can jeopardize your health. Watch out here they come. First thing first, sugary breakfast cereals. Breakfast is often hailed as the most important meal of the day, but for individuals managing diabetes, making the right food choices is critical. While many breakfast options are available, breakfast cereals, which seem innocent and convenient, can be among the worst choices for those with diabetes. One of the primary reasons breakfast cereals are detrimental to diabetics is the hidden sugars lurking within. Even cereals marketed as healthy or whole grain often contain added sugars that can cause rapid spikes in blood sugar levels. Many breakfast cereals are made from refined grains, lacking the fiber found in whole grains. Refined carbohydrates can lead to a quick surge in blood sugar, followed by a crash, leaving you feeling fatigued and hungry. While the convenience of breakfast cereals may be tempting, individuals with diabetes should be cautious of their impact on blood sugar levels. Opting for nutrient-dense, whole food alternatives can make a significant difference in managing diabetes effectively. The next type of food we should avoid in order to control our blood sugar is processed snack foods. In the fast-paced world we live in, reaching for a quick snack is almost second nature. However, for individuals managing diabetes, not all snacks are created equal. Processed snack foods, often lurking on grocery store shelves, can be some of the worst culprits when it comes to blood sugar management. Processed snacks are notorious for their sky-high sugar content. From cookies to candy bars, these sugary delights can send blood sugar levels soaring, leading to unwanted spikes and crashes. Crackers, chips, and other processed snacks often contain refined carbohydrates that digest quickly, causing rapid increases in blood sugar levels. This roller coaster effect can leave you feeling drained and reaching for more snacks. Many processed snacks are loaded with unhealthy trans fats and saturated fats. These fats not only contribute to overall health concerns but can also worsen insulin resistance, a key factor in diabetes. One item that might not have crossed our minds as unhealthy or detrimental to elevated blood sugar levels is industrially processed salad dressings. Picture this, a fresh, crisp salad loaded with vibrant vegetables, a rainbow of colors on your plate. Sounds like the perfect, diabetes-friendly meal, right? Well, not so fast. While salads are a fantastic choice for those managing diabetes, the devil often lurks in the details, particularly in the form of commercial salad dressings. You might be surprised to learn that many store-bought salad dressings are sugar-laden culprits. The added sugars, often in the form of high fructose corn syrup or other sweeteners, can quickly turn your seemingly healthy salad into a glycemic roller coaster. Beyond the sugar content, commercial dressings frequently contain unhealthy fats like trans fats and saturated fats. These fats not only pose risks to heart health but can also impact insulin sensitivity, a crucial factor for diabetics. Flip over the bottle, and you'll likely find a laundry list of preservatives and additives. These chemical extras may not play well with your overall health, especially for individuals with diabetes aiming for a clean and natural diet. Instead of commercial salad dressings, let's take matters into your own hands and whipping up homemade dressings with some simple, natural ingredients such as olive oil and balsamic vinegar, lemon zest, and Greek yogurt. You can enjoy a delicious and blood sugar friendly salad that nourishes your body without compromising your health. Similar to packed salad dressings, condiments like ketchup, 
barbecue sauce are not as innocent as we might have thought. In fact, they can pack a not-so-sweet punch for individuals navigating diabetes. In the world of condiments, it turns out that most ketchup brands don't quite match the homemade goodness grandma used to whip up. A closer look at the nutrition labels on these seemingly innocent sauces reveals a surprising amount of hidden sugar. But that's not all, a quick scan of the ingredients list often exposes a laundry list of not-so-healthy chemicals and preservatives. These additives are strategically thrown into the mix to ensure that the ketchup stays shelf-stable for months on end. And let's not forget about the generous doses of salt and fat that commonly make their way into these conveniently packaged sauces. It's a bit eye-opening when you start to dissect what's really going into that seemingly innocent squeeze bottle on your table. The rich, smoky flavor of barbecue sauce is no different. It can be a delight for the taste buds, but it comes at a cost. Many commercial barbecue sauces are loaded with sugars and can contribute to unhealthy fat consumption. That enticing glaze on your grilled favorites may not be as diabetes-friendly as it seems. So, for your blood sugar management, opt out the canned barbecue sauce and make your own at home using tomato paste, spices, and a hint of sweetness from natural sources like apples or dates. This DIY approach allows you to enjoy the bold flavors without compromising your blood sugar levels. Next thing on the list, many people may have guessed is French fries. Crunchy on the outside, fluffy on the inside, the allure of French fries is undeniable. However, for those treading the path of diabetes management, this beloved side dish might be more of a foe than a friend. At the heart of the French fry dilemma lies the starchy culprit, potatoes. These tubers, when sliced, fried, and salted to golden perfection, transform into a carb-loaded temptation. The rapid digestion of these carbohydrates can lead to spikes in blood sugar levels, making French fries a less than ideal choice for those aiming for stable glucose control. French fries boast a high glycemic index, meaning they cause a swift and sharp increase in blood sugar levels upon consumption. This roller coaster effect can be particularly challenging for individuals with diabetes, contributing to difficulty in managing their condition effectively. The frying process not only transforms the potato's texture but also introduces unhealthy fats into the equation. The absorption of oil during frying can lead to an increase in saturated and trans fats, posing potential risks to heart health, a concern for many with diabetes. While a dash of salt can enhance flavors, the excessive sodium content in French fries is a cause for concern. Elevated sodium intake can contribute to high blood pressure, adding another layer of health considerations for individuals managing diabetes. You might be surprised by this item on the list of worst food for diabetes, canned fruit. While your mom has always encouraged you to enjoy a bounty of fresh fruits, there's a stark contrast between biting into a juicy, fresh pear and opting for the canned variety. The reason lies in the preservation process designed to keep these fruits shelf stable for extended periods. Unfortunately, the trade-off involves drowning the contents in sugar-laden syrups, acting as preservatives. Even if you diligently rinse off the syrup before indulging, a significant amount of added sugar remains. The canning process not only introduces added sugars but can also elevate the glycemic impact of the fruit. Canned fruits, especially those swimming in syrup, can cause a rapid surge in blood sugar levels, making them a less than ideal choice for individuals aiming for stable glucose control. Furthermore, the canning process tends to strip away a substantial portion of the fruit's vitamin C content, leaving you not only with elevated sugar intake but also with diminished nutritional value. So, when it comes to fruit choices, a preference for the fresh, vitamin-rich option might be the better path for those mindful of their diabetes. Another thing we should not forget to avoid in order to maintain blood sugar is white bread and refined grains. While bread has been a dietary staple for centuries, not all loaves are created equal, 
especially when it comes to white bread and refined grains. Here, we'll unravel the reasons why these seemingly innocent staples are actually stealthy adversaries for individuals navigating the challenges of diabetes. White bread and refined grains undergo a milling process that strips away the outer bran and germ layers, leaving behind the starchy endosperm. The result? A product that digests quickly, causing a rapid spike in blood sugar levels. For those with diabetes, this roller coaster effect can be particularly challenging to manage. The refining process not only removes key nutrients, but also significantly reduces the fiber content of the grains. Fiber plays a crucial role in slowing down the digestion of carbohydrates, helping to stabilize blood sugar levels. With white bread and refined grains, this beneficial fiber is largely lost. White bread and refined grains are often calorie dense but nutrient poor. This combination can lead to overeating as your body craves the nutrients it lacks, contributing to weight gain, a significant concern for individuals managing diabetes. So, for those who are concerned about their blood sugar level, be mindful in bread selection. Look for whole grain or whole wheat options with minimal added sugars and consider exploring sprouted grain bread, which may offer additional health benefits. Coming up next is one of the worst foods for health, especially for diabetes, instant noodles. We've all been there, the convenience of a steaming bowl of instant noodles on a busy day is hard to resist. However, watch out, it might not be a good choice. Instant noodles are notorious for being loaded with refined carbohydrates. These refined carbs can cause rapid spikes in blood sugar levels, putting an unnecessary strain on the body's insulin response. Unlike complex carbohydrates found in whole grains, instant noodles offer little in terms of sustained energy and satiety. Take a moment to scrutinize the ingredient list of your favorite instant noodles, and you might be surprised by the presence of hidden sugars. Whether it's in the seasoning packets or the noodles themselves, added sugars can contribute to elevated blood sugar levels. Instant noodles often come with a side of unhealthy additives, preservatives, and flavor enhancers. These processed ingredients might be great for shelf life, but they don't offer much in the way of nutritional value. For individuals with diabetes, it's crucial to prioritize whole, nutrient-dense foods over heavily processed options. If you're managing diabetes, keeping an eye on your sodium intake is key. Instant noodles, typically drenched in high sodium flavor packets, can contribute to hypertension and other health issues. Choosing lower sodium alternatives or incorporating fresh vegetables and lean proteins can help strike a better balance. Get ready, folks! We're about to spill the beans on the worst of worst food you should steer clear of, whether or not you're dealing with diabetes. If you enjoy what you're hearing, give us a thumbs up, and make sure to subscribe for more informative stuff like this. We're rolling out new content every day. Now, let's jump into the number one food you definitely want to avoid if you're thinking about diabetes, soda and soft drinks. Let's uncover the reasons why these fizzy delights earn the title of the worst of the worst for individuals navigating the complexities of diabetes. Soda and sugary drinks are infamous for their sky-high sugar content. These beverages often pack a staggering amount of added sugars, which can send blood sugar levels soaring. Regular consumption can lead to insulin resistance and contribute to the development and progression of diabetes. It's not just the obvious culprits, even seemingly innocent fruit juices and sweetened teas can harbor hidden sugars. What's worse is that these sugary drinks bring more harm than just a sugar rush. Laden with empty calories, they provide little to no nutritional value. This means you're sipping on a concoction that not only wreaks havoc on your blood sugar levels but also fails to offer any essential nutrients your body needs. The rapid spike in blood sugar caused by sugary drinks triggers a corresponding surge in insulin production. 
This constant roller coaster of elevated blood sugar and insulin spikes can lead to insulin resistance over time, a precursor to type 2 diabetes. Believe it or not, many sugary drinks can contribute to dehydration. Caffeinated sodas, for example, have a diuretic effect, meaning they increase urine production, potentially leaving you more dehydrated than before. Proper hydration is crucial for overall health and can also impact blood sugar control. When it comes to managing diabetes, one of the first steps is bidding farewell to soda and sugary drinks. Choosing water, herbal teas, or other sugar-free alternatives can make a significant difference in stabilizing blood sugar levels and promoting overall well-being. So, let's raise a glass to healthier choices and bid adieu to the sugary culprits that top the list of the worst for diabetes management. Thanks for watching and have a happy and healthy one.